What's up guys, today I'm going to teach you the best export settings that you can have inside of After Effects. Let's get straight into it. So first up right here, I have this video of this motion graphic that I made. I'm going to teach you how to export it. It's just a standard video in the highest, highest, best, best, best quality you can ever have in After Effects on god and then i'm also going to teach you how to export a transparent video as well first up always of course you can check your composition settings by going to composition and composition settings and then make sure you are in the correct format so right here i'm doing like a really really large square because it's a website video but you can of course set custom presets by clicking this preset button make sure you're in the correct frame rate and that's pretty much all you need to do here another common beginner error that i made when i was starting out was i was exporting videos but i never understood the work areas right here and basically this right here is selecting whatever is going to export so it's going to export video from here all the way to here kind of obvious but when i started out i didn't know that now it's time to export we're going to go to file and we are going to hit export and we're going to add to render queue now you're going to get an export it's going to go all the way to the bottom of your render queue first up make sure you click on best settings right here make sure it's in quality best resolution is full and you're using no proxies proxies are basically like lower quality versions of like high 4k files so just make sure you're using no proxies check your frame rate to make sure it's correct and then hit okay now we're going to click on the button that says losses on your output model module and this is important so there's two formats that you can export in that i recommend number one is quicktime this is basically the highest highest quality you're gonna get the best quality here trust me but the downside of that is that your files are gonna be super massive like ridiculously large for really small clips but if you're exporting video for a project that prefers smaller file sizes then i'd really recommend going with h.264 file format this is basically an mp4 format much smaller than quicktime but you're gonna get less quality so let's go ahead and click on quicktime for now and then then if you want to export a transparent video all you have to do is click on channels and change rgb to rgb plus alpha and this will export the transparent background rgb just exports a black background so i'm going to click rgb plus alpha because i want a transparent background and now go to your format options now this is also really important that you pay attention here because this will determine the best video quality so go to your video codec right here mine says animation and what you want to do is you want to change it to either apple pro as 444 or 422 now basically the difference here is apple ProRes 422 is going to encode one color value for every two pixels and Apple ProRes 444 is going to encode a color value for every pixel. So you're basically getting more information with the Apple ProRes 444, but once again, it's going to be a lot larger file size. You can just go ahead and go with that, hit OK. Now your audio output settings should usually be fine, depends on where you're playing your video. So if you know what speakers you're using, you can mess around with this, but otherwise keep it the same as this. Hit OK. And now one last thing you're going to do before we render is we're going to click on the output name, click right here on comp one and you can just name it to whatever you want so i'm going to call this my first export make sure it's in the correct file location hit save and now it's time to render click the render button and you are good to go so with that those are the best export settings for after effects hope you found something useful if you want to learn how to import presets inside of after effects you can check out this tutorial right here and by the way if you want to check out these free preset files they're available here at our website 11%.net we got camera shakes mixed media effects title card templates a bunch of crazy stuff hope you all found something useful and i'll see y'all in the next tutorial peace